is the CBS Evening News with Bob Schieffer. And still ahead, a battle is coming over oil and water. Florida insists they don't mix. As the Bush administration pushes for exploration of U.S. oil and natural gas reserves, one of the first frontiers is off Florida's Gulf Coast, not far from some treasured beaches. Jim Acosta with that story tonight. On the Anadarko Petroleum Company's giant Marco Polo platform, 130 miles out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, they say they're running out of room to explore. We need this resource to be able to keep future generations to have the same opportunities that we have. Stuart Strife, Anadarko's head of exploration, yeah. knows where the next big reserves are. But he can't cross an invisible line east of this platform. It's where the state of Florida's political clout kicks in and drilling stops. A zone where geologists believe there's more oil and natural gas than in all of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. That's why we're so excited about being able to explore out here. But we need access. Right, we don't have access. Not, right now, we don't have access. The federal government's latest plan for offshore drilling would change that, opening two million acres and part of what's known as Lease Sale 181. We think there's enough potential out there right now. We could heat 10 million homes for a six to 10 year time frame. Out on this platform, the choice is clear. Consumers are looking at an offer they can't refuse. But Florida has always stood in the way with the attitude that no amount of oil or gas is worth jeopardizing one of its greatest natural resources. Five of the top 10 beaches in our nation are located here on Florida's Panhandle beaches. Environmentalist Mark Ferullo and a coalition of Democrats and Republicans that includes the state's governor, Jeb Bush, are demanding the federal government back off. Potential for a catastrophic spill could, could forever, for a generation, ruin the economy and ecology of this area of, of the country. And Ferula warns the risk of spills grows as each new oil rig is placed in the path of the Gulf's monster hurricanes. Anadarko's Keith Nosich says even Katrina couldn't swamp today's technology. Just recently, Katrina and uh, Rita both passed within 50 miles of this platform, and we essentially had no damage whatsoever on here. But for many Floridians, this is worth more than allowing the energy companies even a toehold on their beaches. They will not ever be satisfied until all of this infrastructure and development is in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Now it's a test for Florida's power players to convince either Congress or the White House that oil and these waters don't mix. Jim Acosta, CBS News, on the Gulf of Mexico.